Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Photon programming. And now, in this tutorial, we'll I thought of we'll mentioning you guys a little bit about the online resources that are available for learning Photon. Now, you you guys can follow along with my tutorial, no problem with that. But uh, but I recommend that uh, you know you guys have some reading material so that uh, it's easy for you guys to refer and all. See, in photo, in while uh, te kind of taking videos, it's it may not be possible to cover each and every bit of it. So, uh, so uh, sometimes the explanations I give may not be very simple. But if you guys want to uh, want to know even more deeper explanation, or if you want to have more examples and all, having some resources online might be really he resources online are very helpful if you guys are willing to get a book on your own or buy a book on your own and use it for reading and all yeah that's a very very good very good decision and you guys can go ahead with it and uh, i'll just show you guys some online resources that are available here see if you guys go to uh, open a web page op go to web, pa web page go to this place called as uh, code academy code academy okay go to this web type go to code academy and go to this place and uh, if you guys uh, if you guys can like you can just sign up and uh, you can start some tutorial sections over here this i don't know whether it will have I, mean, I don't know whether it will have photo or not but it's good for a you know, large number of programming languages okay let me come to the main thing which i wanted to say uh, code academy is for a lot of programs but there is this one program where you don't have to log in and all it's called as uh, tutorials point Okay, tutorialspoint.com is a website which I found which I found some recent time in the recent time where you get you get online you get to learn a lot of programming languages at absolutely free of cost and uh, at your own pace and at your own pace. This web page has a quite an extensive number of programming language tutorials uh, and for different types of applications. And if you guys see, there are a lot of online to online terminals for a lot of languages like Python, R, Hadoop, Octave, Ruby, or oh, uh, Ruby, SQL, PHP, and all. And a lot of online interactive development environments and all. Okay, since we're working at Fortran, this is the Fortran uh, Fortran IDE, Fortran ID online IDE. It's actually a PHP file. Okay. Before uh, while this gets loaded, I'll show you guys some more. Wait, let's see where this loads. Yeah, it's got it got loaded. It's just like our C. It's, if you guys notice, this is just like our, you know, our code block stuff. Okay, it is code block stuff. You can just compile, uh, execute the file, and get results. And you can just type on the on the run and check you check whether you guys are r doing right or wrong. Okay. And this is what we've worked, looked at. Okay, this is okay, fine. And then uh, there is this uh, page called as Learn Fortran here. And then there you have a few. Yeah, I mean, okay. There you have a lot of you know all the sections here that you can go at your own pace. But they have a lot of documentation, little examples, and all for here. And which is designed specifically for beginners, but uh, it, if you are a, if you are a good pr a programmer and all, you can go the, go go at this at a little more faster pace. And they they have this nice little uh, online uh, tutorial, uh, Fortran tutorial in a PDF. Okay, you guys can have a look at it. You know, it'll just load up. Okay, while it while it loads, I'll just show you guys another place. Okay, let's leave this. There's this one more pay. Uh, let let this uh, it loaded okay this tut there's this tutorial section over here and this book this PDF online PDF cover content covers a lot of contents with a lot of nice examples and it's very very easy to follow see we were looking at these uh, we were looking at these in the last video right so these were mentioned over here like that they have a lot of explanations here and a lot of examples that you guys can have a look at i recommend this for both beginners as well as advanced users so you guys can have a you guys can have a uh, look at it okay and then there's this one more thing called as photon tutorials type photon tutorials in uh, in your browser okay 
they'll they'll show multiple file uh, locations called as this the fortran tutorials of fortran company and this fortran tutorial dot com okay this is actually a company that teaches and conducts a lot of fortran to fortran related tutorials for from for quite a long quite a number of time quite a uh, few years okay they are different different uh, online tutorial sections available you guys can look at and they are not only that they teach different fortran's like modern fortran visual fortran uh, we will be looking at only fortran 1995 but they'll teach modern versions of fortran and visual fortran and visual fortran i think has gui application gui appli gui application that you can work at and uh, this is lo this looks interesting so you guys can have a look at it and then there is this page called as fortran tutorial.com which is this this is similar to what we saw in co uh, tutorials part and uh, they these people use you know these people use uh, use uh, you know an editor called as plato with sil i think if i am right a uh, uh, fortran 90 silver frost fortran 95 and plato to do all the problems and they go in a very basic manner uh, almost as if in a big uh, almost as if in a beginners level and this looks very this will be very easy very easy to follow and i recommend this for people who are who have extreme who are extremely new to programming and all and uh, by, just like the previous one this page also has they, they this website also has some worksheets and uh, you know some uh, contents and contents and all with a lot of examples and pdfs and all you guys can have a look at it and you can use the resource that they provide you for free but there are some real uh, conditions and all okay which you guys which you guys have to take care condition i mean you just have to keep in mind okay uh, these these will help these will help you guys in assistance so what they recommend you guys is that uh, while you guys are going through stuff while learning going through my program i rec i just recommend you guys to have a look at these look at this and follow up with this so that you you know you you guys can pick up the program a little faster well that's all that's all i have for this tutorial guys okay thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next tutorial